Hey, John Cristani here, internet marketer and tech entrepreneur, and I've spent millions of dollars on both Google and Facebook ads. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over and comparing the pros and the cons, the strengths and the weaknesses of each of these different platforms for advertising your business on. I'm gonna go over a number of data points about each of these businesses, and I'm also gonna be comparing them on the pros and cons so you can figure out what's gonna be the best solution, what's gonna be the best fit for your business or for your startup to use to advertise. Let's get into this really exciting subject, one I deal with all the time and excited to teach you about this. Let's get it. Hey, John Cristani here and I've been just marketing on Google and Facebook for eight years now, it makes me feel old. But I've been marketing on these companies for eight years, marketing for my job. I worked at an advertising agency. I started my own advertising agency and did marketing on these platforms for clients. And now I market it for other companies doing affiliate marketing. So I market companies on these and make money when the clients of mine make sales. And I earn as much as 500 to $900,000 a month doing advertising on Google and Facebook. So that's kind of my credentials in how I understand this. I spend over $100,000, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in ads per month. And that's my experience base. And I'm gonna be talking to you about these two beautiful ad networks that I love and I base my business around. But John, John I, just, I just wanna know what's the best ad network to advertise on. I just I just wanna know what's the best. Just tell me this one or that one. Check this out, so listen. Both ad networks reach billions of people. Anybody you want to reach, you can reach through both Google and Facebook. So there is no best. But what I'm gonna go about is they are both different. You might prefer one over the other. We'll get into that shortly. But first, some statistics. So first off, Google. Companies and businesses and individuals spend $134 billion a year on. This is as of 2019. So $139 billion, whereas Facebook is about half as big, okay? About $70 billion was spent last year on Facebook ads. So both ad networks are pretty big, Google's a lot bigger. But here's another interesting point, which is we're gonna come up in the pros and cons, is Google has four million businesses and companies and individuals advertising on Google. Whereas Facebook, even though it's half the size, has about double the amount of people advertising on it, about seven million people advertising on Facebook. So two ad networks, but as you can see, a lot more advertisers on Facebook. Now, what are the pros and cons of each of these ad networks? Now, over here we have Google, and the pros of Google is that a few things. One, it's easier to scale, okay? Google, for a number of reasons, it's easier to spend a lot higher sums of money using Google than Facebook, and you can grow that advertising much quicker, okay? For various reasons, basically, Facebook has all these manual review limits and whatnot. You're usually limited to spending a certain amount of money per day based on whatever, I won't go into it. On Facebook, Google, if you're spending $100 a day and you're making back $200 a day, you can scale that really quickly to $20,000 a day, so you're making $40,000 a day. Just a lot easier on Google. Another plus about Google is ad approval is a lot easier. So depending on what you're advertising, you'll be able to get away with making stronger claims, talking about more benefits, and just really just marketing a little bit more aggressively than you would be able to do on Facebook. Ad approval happens faster on Google. More ads get approved, it's easier. And also there's less competition. On Google, as you saw, it's twice as big but has half the number of advertisers. So the competition is about 25, 20 something percent of what it would be on Facebook, relatively speaking. Everybody and their mother and their dog is talking about advertising on Facebook. That's the hot thing to do. But less competition means lower costs as well 
on Google. So that's a pretty interesting thing to note. Now, why would you advertise on Facebook? Okay, we see a lot of pluses about Google. Well, the targeting is a lot easier. You don't have to know as much about marketing to target. In fact, Facebook doesn't even recommend you do targeting anymore. They, they recommend you just let the ad run and their algorithm is so good, they can figure out who is interacting with your posts. They can figure out what you're advertising. They analyze your web page and they just serve your ad to the most interested people and they keep optimizing your audience for you, which is just absolutely magical. Now, one of Facebook's core tenets when it began was making the user experience as beautiful as possible. And again, they were optimizing around shareholder value and their shareholder value was based on usage and attention. Now, as a more mature company, Facebook is focusing on the user experience for its advertisers, which is why it's so focused on gaining new advertisers and making it easy to do advertising on their platform. That's why they focus so much on this targeting because targeting can be, can be hard to figure out who's going to be best served by your ads. Is it going to be moms or veterans or truck drivers or, you know, senior citizens? It's kind of hard to figure it out if you've never advertised before. And Facebook has just taken such a detailed role in figuring out how to take as much work off your plate as possible that they've just made it so easy to advertise. They've made it so easy to find your target market. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's one of the major pluses. And as an organization, that's what Facebook optimizes around now. So they're working to make it easier for everyone to advertise, which makes it really exciting. Now, in the same strain, they've made ad creation very easy. You can literally just put in a website and Facebook can figure out an ad for you. It's very easy. The process is just so simple. You know, you create an ad for Facebook and it can show up on Instagram. It can show up all over the place very simply. So ad creation is easy. And last but not least, once again, we're talking about targeting here. Their AI is just on point. Facebook has the most advanced artificial intelligence there is in figuring out who your target market is, who is going to be interested in not only seeing your ads, but buying from your ads because they use both click through rate data, view data, and conversion pixel data to optimize everything about it. It's set it and go and Facebook does most of the figuring out for you. Sort of makes sense why Facebook is so popular, right? They've just made everything so much easier. Now let's get into some of the the negatives, the downsides of using both of these ad platforms to promote your business or start a business. Now, the negatives of using Google to advertise is their user interface, okay? That's what UI stands for, UI, user interface. Their user interface is kind of clunky. There's a lot of options. There's no clear direction of exactly what to do. For people who are just beginners, there's so many options. It can be very overwhelming. I teach very in depth how to do AdWords or Google ads in my training course, in my six week training course, which goes over how to do affiliate marketing with paid advertising. If you want to learn more about that, check out the link below and check out some of these testimonials from some of my most successful students. Hello guys, my name is Iñak Lavallen and I'm going to do a quick video review of John Crestani Super Affiliate course, by far the best course about how to make sales in any market with any medium ever, okay? Because this course is about the fundamentals of business, okay? It's about how to make good ads, put in the right message and put a high-end offer so you can become rich, okay? And the course is all, it's all about that. It's about the system that works in any industry, any market. It doesn't matter. It's going to work forever, okay? It doesn't matter that Facebook goes away, that YouTube goes away. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, um, all, <laughs> all we are going to do is making a, an ad, putting the right message with the right offer, and we are going to make money no matter what happens into the world economy, okay? So the course is all about that, how you can make money online, um, it doesn't matter the medium, okay, it doesn't matter the offer, it's all about the fundamentals. And you can start any business or go to any business and make sales, because that's the course, okay, it's making the ads, the message and the offer, and that's why you have to be on this course. Really, really recommend, 10 out of 10, go. Hi, my name's Georgina Herman 
and I'm from Queensland, Australia. Okay, and I just want to briefly tell you about this really awesome gem of a program that I came across a short while ago. It's called Internet Jet Set and its creator is John Castani. Now, personally, I'm unemployed at the moment. I was my mother's full-time carer for quite a number of years, uh, but mum's now moved into an aged care facility, so I'm out looking for work. And I've also been looking for some work at home opportunities, which is how I came across John's program. Now, I watched some of his videos uh, and I was really impressed. John comes across incredibly genuine and it's obvious that he sincerely wants to help people learn the skills to be successful in this line of work. Um, after watching his videos and, and reading his uh, web page, I decided to jump in and join the program and that was about a week ago now. And let me tell you, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Uh, the program is teaching me the skills to build a really solid foundation whereby I'll be able to generate numerous income streams. I'm learning about affiliate marketing for Facebook, Twitter, uh, writing blogs, writing good articles. There's all sorts of valuable information there. So, you know, I suggest check out John's free videos on, on uh, YouTube. Um, have a look at his website, you know, read the articles on there and then take the plunge. I seriously don't think you'll regret it because I know that I haven't. I'm very excited about this. Okay, thanks. Hi, my name is Jeff Jackson. I'm a customer of John Cristani. I have uh, gone through his training program now and one of the things that hesitated me on getting it started with this program is the fact that the support i bought other products before weren't able to make them work but one of the differences here is that he actually does support he actually ans answers your questions every friday so you're able to get one-on-one -on -one support and he even goes beyond the call of duty to make sure you're successful and i've used the pre-sale landing pages and they've actually generated conversions i'm running ads i'm paying for traffic and converting so i'm looking forward to a successful program do the training that I'm getting so if you're on the fence you should really jump in and make it happen the other downside of Google is their targeting so they don't have the advanced AI targeting that Facebook has I mean Facebook's far above and beyond any company in this space once again so many targeting options you can target by placements you can target by keywords you can target by topics you can target by interests you can target by demographics there's just so many options that it's a bit overwhelming and trying to understand which option is going to work better what works better custom intent audiences or custom intent topics or keywords or broad keywords phrase match keywords exact match keywords it's just overwhelming and it's changing right everything always changes in their algorithms so it's just hard to get a read on what's working best so you have to be really skilled you have to really have good education to be able to understand how to fully utilize Google ads and that's also a reason why there's less advertisers because in order for a, a small business which typically doesn't have a marketing professional on their team small businesses aren't able as much to advertise on Google it's just a little more difficult for them where small businesses your local flower shop your local auto detail store can totally advertise themselves on Facebook Facebook figures it out for them and makes it really easy. Now let's get into some of the cons of Facebook. So some of the cons are, we talked about it before, competition. There's a lot of competition on Facebook. In fact, there's about four times more competition on Facebook than there is on Google. So you are competing with more people, which in turn leads to more banner blindness and also higher costs. So the costs are just a bit higher on Facebook because of the increased level of competition. You have so many people on there. You know, you have 50 different companies competing to sell the same product to the same people. Now, the other negative about Facebook is ad approval. And this is a major one because they don't allow a lot of industries to advertise. Facebook prefers bigger brands or they prefer hyper-local companies. So getting an ad 
approved on Facebook can just be a nightmare. And they even ban accounts, they ban advertising accounts, they disapprove lots of ads. It's just a nightmare to get advertising on Facebook. You say the wrong word, you wanna promote a weight loss product and you say weight loss in the ad, your ad will be disapproved and your account may be banned just by saying the words weight loss. So ad approval is a serious issue. Having ad accounts shut down is a serious issue. It happens, it's nature of the game. If you wanna do Facebook, you know what I advise people to do is be really safe in your ads if you're advertising on Facebook or or be prepared to go through a couple of ad accounts. It's not a big deal, no harm, no foul, but you might have to go a couple of ad accounts. So these are the pros and cons of Facebook. But John, can you just like summarize everything in just one sentence? Like what's the best place to start? So if I were to really boil it down and like which is the best ad network for your business? If you're just starting out, I would say Facebook is the best place to simply get started if you're advertising a business. You have to understand that your ad accounts may be banned, you may get ads disapproved, that's the nature of the beast, but Facebook is gonna be much easier for the beginner because that's what they focus on. They focus on making it easy to advertise, the targeting, the interface, everything. If you have a business and you're looking to grow it further, Google is the best place to scale. I actually advocate within my training course, I think Google is a better place to get started if you have the knowledge, if you have the skills to utilize Google ads, okay? Google also encompasses YouTube ads, it also encompasses ads on Gmail, and again, you reach billions and billions and billions of people with Google. So I'm a big fan of Google, I personally prefer Google, but in terms of best place to start overall, given just assuming that you're just a complete beginner, I would say, it would be Facebook. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know where are you gonna get started? Are you gonna get started on Google? Or are you gonna get started on Facebook? Type in your answer below. Also let me know if I spoke a little too fast about these subjects and you'd like a little more detail, or if I spoke too slowly about them and you'd like me to get through the material quicker. Or if it was just right, type that in down below because I wanna understand, ultimately I'm here to serve you. I'm here to help you make money. I'm don't make much ad revenue from YouTube. That's not my goal here. My goal here is to help more individuals have what I never had, which was an education in how to do online marketing. So let me know in the comments below, subscribe to the channel, click the notifications button because I do live Q and A sessions every now and then. And I release videos every single day teaching you how to do marketing, how to make money, how to use marketing to make lots of money. So looking forward to seeing you in future videos. And if you're so interested, also join one of our communities. We have a Discord chat channel, so you could chat with people in real time, share knowledge. We have a subreddit forum, and we also have a Facebook group where you can interact with other individuals that are doing marketing. I get two quadrillion messages per day from people asking me, hey, can you be my mentor? Can you like, can you like scratch my back and like tell me I'm a special snowflake? I can't do that, right? I'm trying to build a community here. If we all help each other out, we'll all grow faster because, you know, frankly, in my free time, you know, I'm spending it with my wife, I'm spending it with my kids, or I'm going out surfing or something. It's not gonna be answering messages. This is what I do for free, so I hope you can respect that. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.